Hey! Very fast. It's the 27th of July, 2019. And what an interesting little journey I had this morning. Uh, once again, I cannot interpret for you exactly what this stuff all means, but I can tell you that it's witnessed inside. You know, there's a spirit that witnesses that there is something to be gleaned here, something that can be taken from this and there always is as long as you're keeping it in the word of god there's always something good to be taken from it you know what i mean but my random verse this morning was hebrews 11 1 which is very interesting because it talks all about faith and hope you need to read hebrews 11 it is amazing but the way my mind works i started just doing multipliers in my mind you know 11 1 1 11 2 2 2 3 3 3 7 7 7 8 8 8 okay and it gave me the impression this is something to do about time the promises and patience of the saints you know time is a element in this whole thing that i'm seeing here and then so i asked again you know to get another verse to give me some sort of confirmation and i got Psalm 917, talking about the wicked nations that have turned to hell and forgot God. Again, about the time. Okay? And 917, as most of us know, uh, 9 times 17 is the 153. And there it is again. Okay? And, and tomorrow is the date that I was kind of put to. I, I don't understand. It's a Sunday. I know that. Um, but what it interpreted out to me was is seven 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 okay this is just how I see it okay in the 2019 as a 12 okay in the four 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 and then I wind up on the date calculator right and you can't get over this stuff okay tomorrow the 28th will be the 88,777th day of the United States, officially, that is. So then I see that, and I'm like, this is weird, man. You see what I'm saying? If you take, and I just started doing math equations with it that just kept panning out all this crazy stuff. The 777 divided by the 88 oddly enough equals 8.8 .8. you know there's more decimals here but that's the gist of it all right and trump all the 88s that are associated with trump his campaign texting program they've raised 88 million for his campaign don't forget the economist in january of 1988 one nine nineteen eighty eight the new world currency you know 31 years ago that rebellious 13 and then this is what i remembered was the 88 miles an hour in back to the future so i went and i just wrote down these notes okay the clock tower and all these things if you add the 88 to the clock tower time it's 1091 which of course is a 911 which brings us back to 911 but this is the real crazy part right here you guys Back to the Future was released on July 3rd, 1985. And up until tomorrow, that will be exactly 12,444 days, which equates to 1,777 weeks. Now, you just got to wrap your mind around this stuff. I mean, really. And what did they clue us into in Back to the Future? The Twin Pines, the Twin Towers. 119 right and then there was the lone pine with the time of 133 which is 19 times 7 right this is just the way this stuff comes to me you guys the usa is going to be that old tomorrow we add 111 days to it as in the hebrews 11 1 and we get 88888 which lands us on November 16th, 1116 of this year. That will be when the United States will be that old. That's crazy. I mean, all these things, you guys, even in the Greek concordance, the, the word for, for 88 is unintermitted. That is permanent, without ceasing, continual, as in time, as in prayer, without ceasing. And it's only used two times. 
you know, I just keep seeing all these different numbers. 88, 8 times 11. And then time I equate with the 88. Okay, so I'm like, what's going on here? And I know that CERN is trying to do something with time. And CERN I associate with the 666. And then I come to find out that 88 BC, you, I don't even know how I come across some of these things, you guys. But in the year 88 BC, B.C. was a year of pre-Julian calendar. At the time, it was known as the year of consulship of Sulla and Rufus, or less frequently known as year 666, ab urbe condita. Think about that. That was the year 666. <laughs> and it goes on and on, you know, these things that just pop into my mind. IBM, I was talking about the other day. They were born in 1888, 131 years ago. The 777, the lightning from heaven. What I'm seeing is just there's something being placed on time here. There is a message of time. Are we out of time, right? You know, the wicked nations, they need to repent because time is almost up. This is just how I see it. It's pretty unreal to me. Yesterday on Drudge, they had big letters GDP down to 2.1, right? Which is 21, 777. In numerology, the GDP is a 747. The 711, 711 again. I mean, all these dates. 911, 2001 to tomorrow. 6,529 days. 11, 11. 17 years, 10 months, and 17 days. Think about this. 9-11-2011 to tomorrow. 28-77. What is 28? 7 times 4, right? And it equates to, to... It's just insane, you guys. You have to look at this stuff. And I'm just like throwing this stuff out to you because it comes across my path. You know, I know it means something and I'm compelled to share it with you. All right. Even if we go back from tomorrow just 88 days, it brings us exactly to May Day. If we go back 888 days, it brings us to February 20th, 2017, which is President's Day. Trump tweeted out, MAGA. Right? And if we go back 777 days, it brings us to June 11th, 2017, where a play opened in New York City depicting the assassination of the president okay the one that trumped MAGA on President's Day 111 days earlier this is just a little extra added thing I came across you know that there's a butterfly you know like the pedo symbol that they use that has a literal 88 on it a butterfly crazy and then yesterday Drudge had this image pasted on its page with the guillotines being used. I mean, you got to think about this stuff. It, there's always a purpose for this craziness, right? And this is something I have to tell you guys, okay? In the last four days, from the 23rd to the 25th, I witnessed flying over my house a total of six A-10 warthogs. Now, these things are killing machines. They're used for ground assault, right? So what are they doing flying west into the heartland from Maine? You know what I mean? And now they're having this big giant drill in D.C. So I got to share all this stuff. It's just way too interesting to not, you know, at least try to show you how things are revealed to us. But that darkly glass, we just can't see through it clearly because we can't. Someday we will. We'll see everything as he sees it. So peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 